like a fancy dish to make, but our next chef makes it easy. Here to make his seared scallops, we welcome back the author of Trading Dishes, Stephen Ferdinand Joyce. Hello. Good to see you. you. I love this because it's one of those dishes that I'm always nervous to spend the money and do. Right. The scallops are not cheap. No, they're and you not. You don't want to screw them up. No, but they're very easy. But they are easy. Okay, and these are beautiful. <laughs> I know, aren't they really nice? They're really pretty. Yeah. And those are huge. Are you always right. looking for the biggest, or what should you look for when you're picking them out? I mean, it really is up to you. Um, I mean, they range from the base scallops, which are the little guys. Yeah. They are great for like pastas. Okay. Um, but I like these guys because it's they're heartier, and you know you don't need as many for a main course. Yes. Okay. If you're looking to eat scallops, can they be eaten raw, or do you need to make sure they cook all the way through? You can, but. Um, for this particular dish, you want them cooked all the way through. All the way through. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we got to be careful yeah. with this. See, that makes it so, even more challenging. When you say it's easy, yeah. so I'll take it's your word easy. for it. It's very easy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you just want to have your pan nice and hot, and I like to add a little avocado oil. Okay. That's a very high smoke point. Yeah. And then, uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna prep these guys really quick. Okay. So whenever you buy them at the grocery store, they always have this little muscle on the side. Oh yeah. And if you ever eat them in a restaurant and you're eating that, it's very very chewy, and you don't want that. So is it only one or is yeah, it just so full it's just, size? just one. It's okay, just so it's one. that one. Yep, this guy right here. Oh, no, yep. wrong side, Kara. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, because that so, is yeah. tougher. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to oh, chew yeah. on that. It's not not very tasty. Okay. So, and then ah. you just line them up and make sure they're nice and dry because you don't want any moisture to come off. Okay. Because what we're going to do is we're going to sear them. Because okay. if there's any moisture, they're going to uh, steam, basically. Should you rinse and them, gonna, wash them after you Yeah, you can the give market? them a nice little rinse okay. just in cold water really fast and then just pat them dry. Awesome. Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna take a little barbecue seasoning here. That's what so that a is. Southwest flavor to it. Ooh, a different style. Yeah. Okay, barbecue Southwest, and that's <laughs> and just can, the whole seasoning. It doesn't. Right. Okay. Yeah, you and you can you can also do um, you know paprika. Smoked paprika is really nice with these guys too. Uh huh. All right. Some garlic so or something that, in there. Yeah. And for you, then it's yeah. a lot of it's about what you're putting on top, and you're making a relish. Right. Okay. Yep. Yep. That's gonna be a, a great part of it. And then I mean, you can also add like um, you know sweet potatoes or anything you want. Rice goes really great with this dish as well. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. So we'll let these guys sit for just a second and then we're going to make the sauce. Okay. Okay. So, so you have to probably time this out perfectly if right. you want to do the scallops for a certain amount of time. Yeah. Okay. And this sauce also, it takes about eight minutes and you want it to cool as well. Okay. So we're going to start it here and I'll show you. So I'm just adding, this is fresh orange juice. Oh, okay. Oh, that was new butter or something. Okay. Yep. And then uh, these are sliced shallots. Oh wait, you said squeeze. So you have yeah, to squeeze I that squeeze orange juice. That's legitimate. Yeah. Okay, so real I mean, of orange you, juice. Yeah, yes. and you could of course add other, you know, orange juices, you know, yeah. fine too. But I like to, you know, get it so authentic as possible. Right. So okay, and then we're just gonna add in the ginger there. Now if you don't have oranges, can you do like tangerines? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and you um, you know, blood oranges are great as well. So I mean yeah, play around with the dish. It's really fun to like change the up the and also, uh, I use black and black uh, grapes for these, but you can do green or red too. Okay, so, yeah. great. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. So we got a nice hot pan here. So yeah. you just put your hand over, and you can tell that it's nice and hot. Does the <laughs> avocado add any flavor to it? It is. Yeah. It's gonna add just. It's kind of a, more of a neutral flavor, but it's gonna be really nice. So yeah. that's the, the that's sizzle you want. Yeah. So if you don't hear the sizzle, do you take them off yeah. and wait, or do uh, you yeah, just hold them off? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because okay. otherwise, it's not gonna be ready. Uh, a good like trick to See if it's ready. Is I take just a little drop of water, and they say like if it dances across the pan, yeah, then it's ready. Yeah, I like so, that. Okay. Yeah. So you just set these guys on, and really you just want them to cook for a minute on each side. Okay. And you want to pull them out of the fridge at least 30 minutes beforehand before you cook, so it has the time to raise to about room temperature. Okay. That's Otherwise, the secret right there. Yeah. Because if you don't, what you're gonna get is you're gonna get the outside perfect, and then the inside still cold. Yes. Yeah, and then what do you do? Okay. Well, <laughs> all right, then you've just wasted your 30 bucks. Yeah. Sorry, everyone. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, well, these guys are cooking. Only a minute. That's so, fast. Yeah, it's very fast. And so you can already start to smell the mm -hmm. flavors start to combine there. Yeah. So, what, we're gonna what do we do? have here? We okay. have sprouts. So, right? So I was yep. just telling Steve, but I'm so used to the, the sprouts from 1980. You know, like those are not the sprouts I know. No, I don't even know if you're allowed really to eat the sprouts nice, I used to yeah, have back in the day. Sprouts here. Okay, so pea shoots. So, yeah. Uh, I like to add these just as, you know, a nice garnish. Mm -hmm. um, you could also, you know, make this part of a salad too, and so you can use arugula or spinach, you know, that's also a great way to go about it. And so, you said it, so this takes eight minutes, but when right. it's done, I don't know if we can catch yeah. right here, <laughs> this is what it looks like after eight minutes? Yep. Yeah, right. so it will, yeah, so the sauce will actually start to thicken up. Okay. And what's great too is you can do this dish ahead of time as well. 
So you can, you know, make the sauce already, and then, yeah. you know, when you get home from work, one minute, you know, and you're on each yeah. side and you're ready to go, so. Well, you cater events, so I know you have I secrets do. on all that, which is actually nice, <laughs> yeah. because when you're making something of... where you're stressing out about the scallops, it's nice right. just to have this one as yeah. you're ready to go, not too much to think about. Yeah, you always want to have everything all prepped. Okay. <laughs> pretty. Yeah, so you can just add a little, uh, with basil here, okay. and then a little bit of mint. And that's just dried mint, right? Uh, no, it's mint? all fresh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then we're gonna add in the grapes here. What's the ratio so. dried to fresh if you don't have the fresh stuff? Uh, so for this dish, you, I mean, it doesn't really cook long enough to use dried uh, herbs. Okay, so so I would stay away from it. Yeah. Okay. Um, but otherwise, um, it's about two tablespoons to one. One. Yeah. Fresh to dry? Yeah, yeah. Fresh is yeah. two, dried is one. Yeah. Because <laughs> the dried stuff gets more flavor. Okay, right, that's yeah, it's, yeah, it's, but it's, it needs to like really cook for a long time. So, okay. Yeah. Look at those. They are so pretty. Yeah. Should you be looking for anything on the side to make sure so, yeah. they're fully cooked Yeah, in the so you can start to see that the color is starting to go up. Yeah. But, you know, as you kind of squeeze them together too, and then you can push down on them, and if they're nice and firm, then they're just about ready. Woo! <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a little Well, that's hot, a little firm. Yeah. Okay, so not Just quite the right. same. Yeah. So you don't need to cut them open or anything to cut them out? No, but you can use your uh, meat thermometer and check it, and it should be 130 degrees in the middle. But that just ruins the pre-scout. <laughs> well, you know, just like poke it on the side, you yeah. know, so they won't see. Little little yeah. So yeah, we can uh, grab oh, that we're going to serve it up, once you? Yeah. yeah. And then just like a side dish with this, yeah. and it's a big meal. Yeah, yeah exactly. Oh my gosh, so, those are gorgeous. Yeah. So how long, you say a minute with these big ones, if they're smaller scallops, yeah. how long do they take about? Uh, no, so about a minute, minute out. Minute, yeah, okay. yeah. And then you just take the, this here. Chef take always the make things pretty. <laughs> Look at that. It's the fun part, you know? And then you have kids and it gets destroyed, so. <laughs> but it is, it's all about. And I always add a little sauce on the side. It makes you more mindful about eating too when it's pretty and on your dish. Yeah. Rather than just. And it's so easy to do, it's just like oh, nice and calm. Yeah. Sure to so, impress. Yeah. Gosh, we need to rerun this so, on Valentine's Day. Yeah, exactly. This is fancy. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, that just opened Yeah, it should really. just be like, you know, sliced just like butter. You oh, want it to, see on the inside. Yeah, you don't want any paint or anything. You want it to be all white all the way through. Okay. Oh, my goodness. That is delicious. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I love the orange, too. It has nice. great flavor. Yeah. Nice job. Wonderful <laughs> and pretty easy. I'm yeah. going to tackle that. Thank you so much. That's really good. Sure thing. All right. His book again is Trading Dishes. You got to check it out. He has many wonderful recipes in there. We'll have this one and more information about Stephen on our website at kacu.com. Don't go away. More about Community Live when we come back as I take another bite. <laughs> That's really good. Well, thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's fun. Easy. Not really good. That is easy. I'm <laughs> 